Form follows Sun. Understanding the Earth-Sun relationship. Why designing a building? The first thing to consider is the sun path and how it influences the design. Before diving in depth, let us understand the basics. Earth is divided into two hemispheres, north and south contain the equator passing through the center. The Tropic of Cancer lies in the northern hemisphere at 23.5 degrees from the equator. Similarly, the Tropic of Capricorn lies at 23.5 degrees south of the equator. The Arctic Circle and the Antarctic Circle lies above them in the northern and southern hemisphere respectively. The zone between the two tropics is known as the Torrid Zone because of its high temperatures. The zone between the tropics and the Arctic Antarctic Circle is known as the Temperate Zones. The areas near the equator are hot because of perpendicular sun rays. Let's see a demo of how the direction of sun rays influences temperature. Perpendicular rays cover a smaller area but are high in intensity. Therefore, temperatures are high. Slanting rays cover a large area but the intensity is very less. Temperatures are low. Tilt of the Earth's axis Earth is tilted at an axis of 23.5 degrees. Now, there are two important terms to know. Please note I am talking from the perspective of a northern hemisphere. For the southern hemisphere, the case is the exact opposite. As we know, the sun revolves around the earth which takes 365 days. Here, the two terms are solstice and equinox. Equinox is a day where the time of day is equal to the time in darkness. 12 hours each. An equinox occurs two times in the year. 21st March and 21st September. The summer solstice is the day when the sun hours are greater than the hours spent in the dark. This is the day when the number of hours in sunlight is maximum. It generally occurs on 21st June. Due to the tilt in the Earth's axis by 23.5 degrees, the Tropic of Cancer receives most of the perpendicular rays from the Sun and hence the entity is hot. Thus, the Northern Hemisphere celebrates summer on 21st June. Winter solstice is the day when the Sun hours in a day are minimum and usually occurs on 21st December. The rays are slanting and the entity experiences low temperatures. At this point, the Tropic of the Capricorn receives perpendicular rays thus increasing the temperature. Now, let's closely look into the Sun Path Diagram for the Horizontal Plane. There are two significant types of Sun Path projection onto the Horizontal Plane. Stereographic Projection Spherical Projection Stereographic Projection is a projection of a sphere into a horizontal plane. Spherical projection is a representation of an actual sky dome in the horizontal plane. The horizontal plane consists of the north-south axis and the east-west axis. The north direction starts at 0 degree notation, east stands at 90 degrees, south at 180 degrees, and west and 270 degrees further completing a circle. To determine the sun's position in the sky dome, we must understand solar angels. The azimuth angle is the angle between the projection of the sun's center onto the horizontal plane and due north-south direction. Here, the azimuth angle is around 120 degrees from the north. The altitude angle describes how high the sun appears in the sky. The angle is measured between an imaginary line between the observer and the sun and the horizontal plane the observer is standing on. Altitude angle basically defines the height of the sun from the horizontal plane. Higher the height of the sun, the hotter the place on earth because of the direction of the rays of the sun. The angels at the circumference denote azimuth angels. The concentric circles denote altitude angels. Altitude angels increase as we approach towards the center. The horizontal arcs represent the months and the dotted vertical arcs represent the aligns starting from sunrise till sunset. Note how the arcs change for the month. 
At the top is the arc for June, which states highest altitude of the sun. The second arc represents May to July. Next one is for April to August. The arc for equinox is at the center. The arcs below equinox denote cooler seasons. The arcs below denote lower altitude angels which indicates lower temperatures. The website I use for sun path reading is andromarsh.com. Let's consider the location of Chennai with 13 degree north latitude and 80 degree east longitude. For 21st June, the summer solstice, look how the altitude angle and azimuth angle changes to determine the position of the sun.